before we get into today's video, I wanted to super quickly tell you guys about an awesome fresh food delivery service that we've tried out recently and absolutely love. HelloFresh delivers the most beautiful and tasteful fresh ingredients to your door. Stops you from going to supermarkets, stops you from having to go into long queues, stops you from having to wander around thinking what shall I buy, what ingredients do I need, and most importantly stops you getting home and realising that one important ingredient that you missed off the list, which is what I usually do. The HelloFresh app is one of the easiest ways to order your favourite meals with no stress whatsoever. It's available on both iOS and Android and it's completely free to download. So if you're smart and want super stress-free fresh food, then get the app downloaded. It's super easy to navigate. It's really simple to select how many people you want the meals for. It's really easy to select how many times a week you'd like the meals for. And it's easy to select which day of the week you would like your meals to arrive on. If you're a working family, if you're a working couple, if you're busy, if you've got lots of children, if you get in from work late and you just want to take the absolute stress out of meal times, I definitely recommend this service. You don't have to do it every single day of the week. Sometimes if we know we've got a busy week coming up ahead, we'll just order it for two or three nights and it just makes those nights easy. It takes the pressure off and you just know that dinner is completely taken care of that night. Everything arrives portion sized appropriate. So for example, if you need herbs and spices and things, you don't get like a big jar, you get everything you need for that recipe for the amount of people you've selected. I've also got an amazing discount for you guys to use if you do fancy trying it out. So as you can see here, if you just scroll down to here and enter this code, the Ingham family, look how much you are going to save. So you'll get 50% off of your first order with the code the Ingham family and then a further 35% off your next three boxes. Absolute bargain. Who wouldn't want to try it out for that price? A massive thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of our video. Now back to today's vlog. Enjoy guys! <laughs> Good morning iFam, I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. You're joining us on the last relaxing morning of our first trip in off. our caravan here in Mablethorpe. We're actually heading home tomorrow so it will be up, pack everything away and head off home. I thought whilst we were here I'd do not really a caravan tour because we already kind of did that when we picked the caravan up on Tuesday. But I thought I'd just do a little show you around how we do things when we come away in the caravan as a family of seven and then later this evening tonight when we're winding down for bed I'll show you how all the beds are made up, where everyone sleeps and how we all fit in our new caravan basically. We did pick this caravan up on Tuesday and we set off here on Friday so I'm sure over time things will move around and change but we are finding that we've got more than enough space in this caravan already. It's amazing. So here's how we pack and here's how we've packed our caravan so far. So down here at the front of the caravan, this is actually an eight foot wide caravan. So it's really, really, really wide. Is it two foot, was Aaron born six foot wide? Seven foot maybe, I can't remember. I know, it was a, I know it was smaller, a lot smaller. This is the kind of sofa area and this will be made up tonight into a super king size bed, which is where Isabella and Esme sleep. But like I said before, I'll show you guys that a little bit later on. I am loving, I'll show you my favorite bits as well so far. I'm loving this huge window here. It lets in so much light and it's just, it really makes a massive, massive difference. I really love that the TV placement is here. They're watching Toy Egg videos, whatever that means. Um, I love that the placement of the TV is here. It's so much more sociable for everyone to be able to see the TV and watch it. And it doesn't feel right on top of you like it did in our Swift caravan when it was kind of on a little unit here. Um, it meant that the back of the blocked it off, really did block it all off. So the, it was here. And then everybody sat on the small dinette that was here, couldn't watch it, because obviously the back of the TV was here and the front was here. So I'm really, really, really loving the placement of the TV. Be here. Just, are, you, are you crunching Pringles in Esme's ear? No. Ah. <laughs> I love the little cupboards that we've got up here. The girls usually take these cupboards for their bits and bats. And we've got, I like the radio. We've not actually used this yet, but I just like how that looks. It looks cute. And we've got so much space in all of these cupboards the whole way around the van that even the dolls get their own section. Yeah. <laughs> and then these rest 
all the way down here. This one's taking it with bread. Um, all the way around here, I think the cereals in this one and a few random little bits. There's also bread up there as well. And then there's just snacks, snacks and crisps <laughs> in those three. It's kind of the same as in our old caravan. Uh, these ones look a lot thinner but they're not. The, we use the same boxes that we use in our old caravan and they're actually the same size. I don't know why, they just felt more intrusive in the old caravan. Maybe it's because the caravan was narrower. They felt like they were more in your face. Who knows? And then here we've got a huge dinette which most of us fit around, pretty much all of us can sit around this, it's so big. Um, and then the table just lowers down on a lever which again I'll show you later on tonight and that makes another big bed. This is probably my favourite part of this caravan, I love this space. Kitchen side here which again so much space. In this really thin cupboard here we've got a freestanding table that's just tucked away in there that can go in the living area down there. We've not used that yet, we've not felt the need to little rack here, little um, space for, we've just got eggs and butter as you can see. A nice big oven which is awesome. This cupboard here is full of pans I think, let me just check. Nope, potatoes, yep pans and this is so typical of Chris, you can all laugh at him right now. He puts towels down on the floor to put the pans on so that the pans don't scratch the floor. <laughs> Please tell me he's not the only one that does that. No, in fact, please tell me he is the only one that does that because I, I, I who puts towels on the floor of their cupboards who? or blankets? Who does that? Chris, that's who does that. Anyway, so that was full of pans. We've got another massive one here that had towels in, but we've used, oh yeah, still got lots in. We've used loads this morning for showers, so I wasn't sure if there'd be any left in, but that's full of towels, massive cupboard. And then I really love this section here. I don't know why, it's because it's so much bigger than in our old one, but I love that we've got a proper utility drawer. We didn't have one in our old caravan. It was just this cupboard here with a pull-out thing, which I'll show you in a second, and it just didn't work great. It was hard to find everything. This one's awesome. So we've got some rubber straw, that's what those are. 12 pack of rubber straws. We've got a little jug, some wipes, a lighter thing that we do, straws, um, spoons obviously, and bits and bats in there. And then in these two, we've got kitchen roll, um, dustpan and brush, bibs, antibacterial wipes like matches, sponges, I'm trying to think what else in their black bag. And as you can see, like we've not even used half the space in these cupboards, there's, there's honestly so much space. And then in this cupboard here, I actually don't know what's in here. Oh yeah, so in this cupboard here, this is what we had in the old caravan. Is that right? Did we have this in the old caravan? I can't even remember now. Um, the knife and fork drawer? No, 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 no. That cupboard. Or am I thinking the van? No, 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 it was in the caravan that we had it. Was it the caravan or the, I can't remember. Did we just have this? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, anyway, we've got like sharp knives, spatulas, scissors, blah, blah, blah. And all these little, little like bits and bats that you might need. That's in there. And then below we've just got like soil oils, there's like toilet cleaner back there, um, a travel chair, and sprays, things like that. But this cupboard's massive, you could even fit another shelf in here, like it's so big. And then up on the top we've just got the kettle out, oh, we do have a matching toaster but it's quite big and we don't obviously need that out all the time. More important is this little bad boy which is a 12 volt um, air conditioning unit and it's so good. We were using this last night and it really did make a big difference because in summertime when there's seven of you in a caravan, it does sometimes get quite hot during the night. So it's great that we've got that. Um, what else? Up here, we've got two cupboards. This one's full of um, plates, cups, um, camping cups, bowls, plates. And then the next one is also full of plates. We've got the tea, sugar, coffee, cups. And then there's more plates and things back there. Obviously under this, this is a draining mat, so when you wash up in the sink here, we usually go to the toilet block, but if it's just like, not the toilet block, sorry, the washing up facilities near the toilet block. But if we're just washing up like cups or swilling out, things like that, this is a, a drying, drying towel thingy my bob. And we've had this since our very first caravan. So not our last one, the Swift, but the one before that, that we bought secondhand uh, when we were just trying out to see if we actually liked camping or not. So this has lasted so long. And then obviously underneath there is the hob. A huge humongous fridge in this caravan, ignore the reflection, but this fridge is so, so big and such a mess. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is, this is when you know you've got children, guys. They just come in, they grab the raspberries, what they want, just leave it like that and off they go. That's probably sending lots of you. The girls, not 
<laughs> the fridge is a right mess right now. But the point is, the fridge is big and you need a big fridge with a big family. Okay, so just behind the diner area, you have these two drawers and this big cupboard. We've been keeping toiletry. Well, look, like this is how bare they are. We, we don't even have anything to put in these. We've been keeping toiletry, toiletries, sun creams, running toothbrushes. Chris's toiletry bag is usually at the back here, but he's currently at the shower block, so he hasn't got his. Um, and then we've got school, but we've got a couple of storybooks that I just popped in that I've been reading to Jason Miller and Isla actually. Isla really loves the story still on a night, which is nice. And then some schooling books, we've got notebooks, a few games, um, and a few little bits and bats in there. And then in this cupboard here, I don't know why, but the girls have started using this as their own their own um, washing. So that's Esme's, I believe. And then we've got Isla's here. That looks also like Esme's. This looks like Isabel's clothes bag, or maybe that's Esme's actually, I'm not sure. Anyway, this has just been used kind of for like miscellaneous right now, because kind of we've got the space to do it. We've got an iron, a travel iron, Mila's little dressing gown, nappies, and then the toaster's also in here. So this is the toaster that matches, but obviously we only need that for a couple of minutes on the morning, if we're having toast on the morning. So just plonked that there. Tea towels, a change of bed set, hair dryer, um, what's that, uh, what's it called? Wash up liquid. Washing up liquid and things like that in there, but it's such a good space. It really is. Coming around this way, excuse the state of our bed, it's kind of hard to make the bed because it's it's actually like a bedroom, so you can't get down the sides, so tuck it all in. So we've just been plonking it over. On the plus side, I love that it's kind of enclosed in. It feels like a proper bedroom and I really like it. It doesn't look like um, a double bed on the camera when I'm looking at it to my eyes and then looking through the lens, it literally looks tiny. But this is a super king size quilt, so that's why it looks so big. It is a good size double bed. I love Love all of this storage space also above our bed it's so big and we're currently using these for clothes so everyone's got one and basically inside like this is Jace's cube with all of his clothing this one's mine and we just keep in all of our clothes in there obviously we're only here for like four nights so this works well if we're doing a longer trip might not work quite as well because we will obviously have more clothes but I do feel like even if we had more clothes even if we had like triple that they'd still fit in all these cupboards because they're absolutely huge and obviously right now like that's Chris's they're just empty <laughs> they're pretty much empty right now um yeah I love this we need to think of a solution for all the wires because obviously they're all just dangling down everywhere I think we're going to get some of those um little plastic things to sort out the wire situation but I love having our TV here, it's so cosy on a night. And I also love that you can pull this over. Uh, all the way around. Oh, there you go. It kind of just blocks the whole area off. It gives you privacy. We just leave it open just because there's only me and Mila sleeping in here right now anyway. Um, not that that really makes a difference. In our old caravan, um, obviously me and Chris slept in the double bed and we we had kind of a, yeah, you can pull it over as me. We had a, a partition, but we very rarely closed it just because we, there's no really need to close it um, and it just makes the space a lot hotter. And we couldn't get to like the toilet in the night. Oh yeah, and that's the other reason. The girls often say, don't close it because we can't get to the toilet if we need to in the night. Like Isabel did last night. At what time is he? I don't know. To it. <laughs> anyway, speaking of toilets, here's the new toilet. This is also one of my favourite parts of this caravan. I don't feel like you can capture it as well on camera because it never shows the true size, but it's massive. <laughs> it's honestly so much bigger than the old one. We haven't used the shower or anything yet because we're on a campsite right now and we just obviously use the facilities, but it's, oh, it's such a brilliant size for a caravan. It really is towel rails etc we've got the sky roof thing in the bobby do we've got more covered space we've got more covered space down here i actually love this little the toilet roll is on the inside of the door <laughs> so it doesn't take space upon your walls i love the sink whoa what's going on with the lighting there we go and then obviously a nice big mirror and of course the heated the heated hand towel. Another huge amount of space we have is just under our bed, let me try and lift it, really easy to lift up, is all of this space. Now this is where we used to keep our clothes in the old caravan, but as I say we don't need to, 
it was a nightmare because it meant that everyone had to get off the bed and it was just hard to get into, it was hard to access. You crawl into it, but then you Espe could, yeah, it's be too hard on the wood and then yeah. your daddy would be like, don't be your weight on the wood! Yeah, don't like, put your weight on the wood! This. <laughs> Don't put your weight on the wood, so everyone had to like climb in and if their bags were right at the back, if they were one of the unlucky ones. Mm -hmm. To be fair, there is like a hatch and we did have a hatch on the other, on the old caravan, I'm pretty sure. So you can access them from outside, but yeah, it, it didn't work great to be honest. It was fine and it, we managed, but it wasn't the best solution. Whereas now we've got the best solution. So under here we've just got some, a, U, um, a UV umbrella, which you can see there. Some beach mats, some blankets in case we were cold. I'm um, Jace just put a jumper. Um, carpets! I forgot, I don't know if we've ever showed these. This is carpets for the whole caravan. So if you remember in our old caravan we had carpets down, these ones are so much nicer. I absolutely love them. However, I'm loving just having floor. This is not obviously massively, is it like, I don't know what this is, it feels quite good. It's not lino I don't think, but it's not super, it's not like solid wood obviously. Yeah, my daddy's sort of carpet, it's a carpet with the plastic wrap stuff over it. Chris, Chris doesn't care what it looks like, he just wants to keep it perfect. Whereas I don't care about keeping it perfect, I just care what it looks like. So we're completely opposite in that respect. But I like the flooring, Chris doesn't like the flooring because I guess if you came in with like a stone on your shoe and you came in with your shoe, you could, you could damage the floor. And I think that just freaks him out. But he said that we're going to keep the carpets off for now because it does actually look really nice. And it's definitely nicer in summertime. So we're keeping the carpets up for now. But when we yes. do want to put them down, we've got a really nice big one here. Also, all this under here that you can see, all this silver bit here, this is all heating, it's all central heating, which is going to be amazing in winter. Amazing in winter. Um, we haven't used that, but we've heard that it's really efficient and it heats the caravan up really hot, um, the lady told us when we bought the caravan. So that will come in handy, I'm sure. So I think that's everything. Is that everything? I love it. It's like, honestly, the best thing we've ever bought in my whole life. I feel like we'll have so many happy... I don't feel like we ever need to change this caravan, ever. Obviously, you guys will see tonight how we managed to all sleep in here. Um, and we'll explain why Chris isn't sleeping in here. <laughs> we'll explain the situation with Chris as well, just in case you missed the vlog a couple of days ago where we also explained it. But um, I don't think we'll... I don't feel like we'll ever have to... I don't think we'll ever have a better caravan that's more suited for us. I mean, maybe I'll feel differently in a couple of years' time, but I doubt it. This one's perfect. And when the girls are all a bit older and they maybe don't want to share beds or... Is she at my friend? No! Girl. Don't yeah. mention the tent! <laughs> no! My friend has to go. Oh, and has been playing outside with a friend again yeah. today. You having then, fun? Yeah, I brought Mila out. She did. She yeah, took Mila to the like, park earlier on. Yeah, and she, she, like, uh, the girl, she loves her. Like, she's always playing, but she's like, oh, I love that baby. <laughs> so she took Mila to the park, which is literally... Let me just turn the camera on so you guys can see. I don't want anybody thinking I've just left Isla to take Mila. Come on. So I would just sat here. There we go. Yeah. And Isla was sat on the floor with about eight children all looking at Mila. And I was going to put her on the yeah. swings. It was so and cute. I was confused because this lady came over to me and she was like, you know, she shouldn't be on the swing if she doesn't know how to hold on or how to use the swing. And I was like, <laughs> I saw that lady oh, talk to you actually. I thought she was. Go on. I was like, no, it's okay. It's okay. My mum said she's allowed. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Some people just like to give their opinions and that's fine. I did I did see her talking to you. As I was just saying, if the girls for some reason don't want to share or when Mila gets a bit older and wants her own bed or Jace doesn't want to share with Isla, obviously those times will come. There is options for attachments to our awning that include bedrooms with beds in. What darling? I know you do, but I mean when you're really big he's really offended now um that either the older two will can sleep out in it or me and chris can sleep out when isabel's like yeah i'll sleep outside and esme's like i'm not sleeping outside no but we'll see anyway i think little miss is ready for a nap and then i'm gonna play with jace oh i didn't show you this cupboard down here this is jace's favorite cupboard look let's come and show everyone your favorite cupboard yeah. open it then what's in there I'm, I'm like Great! Great game! Ta-da! What? We've got electrics and chargers up here and then we've got all Jason's games! Can we open them now? You want to play with one? Yes! I'll play with all of them! Okay. Let's, let's go to the park, Chris said. <laughs> I'm literally disowning you a lot. They're honestly come to feed the ducks they're all every single one of them eating the duck bread all of them it's so tempting why would we go feed it you're literally eating like you've had nothing to eat all day oh, this bread's delicious. It has no 
plain bread. No butter, no flavour, nothing, just bread. Look at all these fools, man. They already know there's bread here. It's like, yo. Careful, girls. Not too close to James, okay? Give him little tiny bits. Pretty, what's going on, fool? Pretty's like, what the heck? What's that, Mila? You're not giving your bread up, no? Mila's loving Keeping like, yours? Jish, <laughs> Jish, feed the, feed the, feed the duckies. Oh, Jish, you want to keep it for yourself too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that one, look at that one. That was me. Chill out, man. There's some tempers going on here, fool. <laughs> Mila, what do you think of them dogs? Oh my God, I'm not bothered, I'm not giving my bread up. Not for no one. It's all good and well about these ducks, but I don't know about that sky. It looks like we might be in front of the levering. Yeah, I think Ooh. it's blowing that way. You think? Yeah. I hope so. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Okay, what I farm or which I farm should I say remembers this free fall slide this from it looks so much smaller because you guys have grown and insane, yeah. that's why. This is in Mablethorpe and we used to come here all the time when the girls were younger. And I'm right now because I'm you're bigger and I absolutely love this play because it's got all the retro and oh, hang on Jay. I love it! You can do it! Ready? I told you! But the biggest slide here is this bad boy. I'll be so surprised if he actually goes down. If he actually goes down there. He's smiling right now, I don't think he will be in a minute. Okay, hold on to the sides. Hold on to the side. Ready? He's smiling, I'm so... He's <laughs> like, what just happened? <laughs> Yay, the Jays. Want to go again? Go on. Just going. Is it a bit too scary? Yeah. Should we go on a little one? You gotta go on that one. Let's get your shoes on.
it? No, it was so scary. Yeah, it was a bit scary, wasn't it? it was so loud. <laughs> oh, Jesus found the best ride ever. Run then jump up. Whoa, Jace, there is a Spider Man one. But he said, I want to go on the big green man who's so strong, though, like this. He's so strong. What does he do? He does that. Wow. That's amazing. Go on then, off you go. And now, for the big kids ride. That looks so scary. Oh my god. That does actually look a little bit terrifying, but it looks so much fun. You already got it, babe? No. <laughs> Pardon? No. <laughs> that thing? That thing is my worst nightmare. You couldn't pay me all the money in the world to go on that. <laughs> so much fun! Oh my. I don't think these fools know what they're getting into right now. <laughs> <laughs> no way, you'll be fine, okay? The dad's made them think that they're gonna feel like rubbish when they get off, but. Hopefully, they won't. Okay? and relax and prepare for takeoff. You okay, Isla? Just that kill me off, just that, never mind anything else. I'll be done. how I just ate an ice cream to be honest. Not that the ride made me feel sick, but that I love rides. 
I can do any ride. No rides like scare me. One. I will never go on that ride again that I went on today. And it's funny because I convinced the girls they'd feel great on it because I used to go on it when I was younger and I loved it. I don't know if it's because I'm old. I don't know if it's because I've got a bit of chunk on me or what, but oh my, I literally couldn't breathe on the ride. Every time I put the camera on myself, I'd give a little bit of a giggle like, woo! That was to make the girls feel okay. Because I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I thought I was going to pass out or die. When you go on rides that crush your chest like that, you tend to hold your breath. But that ride went on for so long. It was like four minutes. Yeah, my guy was taking the absolute P of you on that ride for definite. It went on for ages. Chris ended, I didn't know this, but Chris ended up telling him to bring it down. But it went on for so long. And because I wasn't breathing properly, because I couldn't. I could see it. Yeah, it was making me. I was like, oh my gosh, any minute I'm gone. I'm gone. What am I going to do to the girl? What am I going to tell the girls? But I was like, just trying to suck in breath. Like, <laughs> it was so bad. Not trying to scare anyone for rides, but. Everyone has different. Oh. I, it must be because I'm, maybe I'm a bit fatter. I don't know. No, I know I am fatter than when I used to. I am. But I don't know what it was. Maybe my, maybe it was the fat on my boobs or something crushing my heart. <laughs> I don't know what it was. But it was so bad. So bad. It hurt. Like it, it was pain. In my, in my, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. My, my heart felt like it was being crushed. Anyway. Enough of that drama. It was an experience, an experience <laughs> that won't be repeated. Uh, the girls loved it though, and I'm so proud of them for going on it. definitely left you on for way longer than it normally goes on. For, well, Esme uh, did say it goes on for quite a long time, and I was like, yeah, but it won't feel like that when you get on it. And I'm like, on it like, I'm just gonna count to 10 and then it hopefully will come down one, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm so proud of you girls for doing it though. Isla absolutely loved it. Isla, you said you'd go on it again, right? Yes, I could do it right now, even though it has to eat a massive donut with ice cream. Isla wants to, Isla said she can go on it over and over and over again. What about you, Esme? Um, I wouldn't do it again. You wouldn't? Esme is not a fan. She once. enjoyed it and she wasn't scared and she liked it and she came off and she was like, that was awesome. But it's not a ride that she'd rush to go on again. Anyway, we just got in the car and I think we're about to head to Tesco. The camera battery's dying again. I think there's something wrong with the battery on this camera. Then we're going to head to Tesco and get a bit of a barbecue for our last evening. So we just got back to the caravan. Chris is just setting up the barbecue. Jason and Isabel look like they're both about to fall asleep. <laughs> you two look so tired. Mila's outside with me and Chris. Esme and Isla, you can see them actually. They've made, um, the, there's a lot of children on the park today that are their age. Oh my gosh, she, oh no, I thought she could see me. She's talking to the boy. Um, so they're all on the park playing, which is probably where they're going to spend the rest of the night until it gets dark. One of their favorite things to do actually when we come on holiday and when we go camping in the caravan, etc., is when we're on a place like this or when we're on campsites is to like make friends and then stay out until dark. Like that's the coolest thing ever. We're just outside with Mila. I knew there was a reason I came in. I was just sat there vlogging thinking I came in for something. What was it? Now that she's starting to crawl, bless her. She, her clothes are like, none of her clothes are suitable because she's just, it's that really awkward stage where she can't walk but she wants to move so she's crawling obviously but her legs are getting stuck in all of her clothes and so she's ended up with a leg like halfway up her waist you guys know what i mean if you're a parent you know what i mean i bought her a really cute outfit from tesco's just now i'll show you that when we go outside but i did pack her a jumper that i found in the old caravan when we were cleaning it out i think it's only three months something like that so i'm hoping it still fits um okay here it is oh it's three to six months it's so cute look how adorable this is! Oh my gosh, it's the most, I don't even remember buying this. But it's so cute and so adorable. And my point was, I've just had to take her dungarees off because she's trying to crawl everywhere and her legs are getting stuck. So I've took her dungarees off and I'm going to pop her this jumper on if it still fits. It's from uh, Nutmeg. So I'm gonna put that on her. And then this is the little outfit I just got her from Tesco. I didn't even realise it came with a t-shirt underneath. It was £6 and I thought this would be perfect um, for her crawling because it's obviously shorts which is awesome. It's nice, cool, um, nice warmish weather in the UK at the moment so I thought those shorts would be nice. And what a bargain for six pounds for a three piece set. <laughs> she's shouting at you. Yeah. Chris is she's out. Shouting more. She's shouting more. Oh, she shouts more when she wants something. I she does it when I go. What's wrong, sweetheart? What do you want? What's that? What is it? What is it? Very hard. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. You say no. <laughs> they ran back. Grabbed a burger. Stuffed my belly. Ate a sausage. <laughs> and now they're going. <laughs> a little barbecue or haul here because I know you're all well excited to find out what we're having. 
<laughs> my absolute favourite, halloumi also. How good do these cheddar cheese melts look? Um, hello to those. We've got some burgers. We've got three packs of these. These are actually vegan, I think. Vegan or... Mm, yeah, they are. I mean, we've not had these ones, though, before. These are even vegan or... Veg oh, no. Dirt. It says vegan right there. What a Muppet. Not that we're actually vegans, because we're not. But we do like a vegan burger every now and again. Uh, obviously, we're not vegan, because here we go. We've also got these lamb kebabs. Delicious. And I'm having to show you this in the bin bag, because these are currently on the barbecue. Also, we've also got some chicken steaks as well. <laughs> Disintegrates. Where's all the kebab things gone? They literally disintegrated straight There's like the five the left. I'm sure there was like a pack of eight or something or ten. There's ten. ten. Where have they all gone? They all just <laughs> fell off the street. And it's just started raining. Look at the state of me. I was back quite cold, so I put on my big snuggle hood. Look how thick this thing is. I walked out and Chris went, You look like an actual marshmallow. <laughs> Just, like, our snuggles are the best. You cannot buy snuggles no, like can. anywhere. They're amazing. <laughs> I've I've been to places that sell snuggle hoods and felt them, and they're nowhere near as thick as mine. All quality, yeah. Anything or the length. Want. Mine are really long, so you can like tuck your legs right in them. They go right down like past your knees, so they're really snuggly and warm. Anyway, I'm snuggly and warm right now. Do, so we have Do we have snuggle hoods left? Yeah, what yeah. pattern? Uh, the thick one, um, that one that you're wearing. This uh, one. There's a couple of me in the rows. Uh, the midnight ones. So we've got a few designs, a fair few designs. A couple of designs oh, left, yeah. and they're on sale few, right now. And the llama as well. Oh yeah. There's a f there is a few designs left and they are on sale, so get stocked up for Christmas, because why not when they're on sale? Um, I thought I'd picked up three packets of vegan burgers, but turns out I picked up two packets of vegan burgers and the one behind that was a regular steak burger. So somebody must have put them down in the wrong place. So we had two, four, four vegan burgers and two regular burgers. Yeah. Everything was so good. huh? Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh, we've got so many iFam here this this little trip, haven't we? Yes, I can't believe it's, how many I've had. There is loads and loads and loads of you guys here. We've had so many lovely chats ah. with you all. It's been really nice. Anyway, what was I saying about the burgers and the food? Everything was so good. The only thing I'm probably not going to eat is the lamb Ooh. because... It has to look ranted. It doesn't look great. And I'm getting full anyway. But the chicken, mm, oh my gosh. Should we buy that halloumi on? That halloumi looks so good, doesn't it? Are you hungry enough for it? Maybe what? Yeah. How can you not be hallucinating? It's raining, it? that's why. Is it, actually, is it raining now? Actually, I can't feel it anymore. Maybe it's just stopped. Maybe it's I just think like, it's some, maybe because it's just sat under the tree. <laughs> Okay, so we got well and truly caught out by the rain just then. We managed to cook all the halloumi though, which is very nice indeed. Esme and Isla have just gone to do a little bit of the washing up, and the rest of us are in here right now because I'm, I'm about to. Shaking out the barbecue, so I have to come side. Yeah. <laughs> the they literally came back and they were like, is there anything left over? I promised my friends we'd have some halloumi. So that she literally took all our kebabs and lots of halloumi to all the mates. So, you know. It's all good anyway. They've gone to go and clean up the cup of tea mugs so we can have a cup of tea for, for dinner and whatnot. That was there. They had like a little bit of a thing between them this morning, Isabel and Esme and Isla, and Esme and Isla lost, so they had to do the washing up today, so it's their chore today. So, so I thought after Sarah's little tour this morning of the van, I would show you how we set up for night time. Okay, this caravan is the absolute best, because it's so easy to set up for night time. Like, the easiest caravan ever. Here we go. So, first of all, move all the cushions off of this sofa. That's where Isabel and Esme's duvet start. Okay, so once you've removed all the cushions, and you've turned over, you've got your, your duvet out of this side part here, and you've turned over one of the cushions, you've got to pull out the main bed which just pops out of here really easy on a roller system and it's super easy to do the nicest like smoothest cleanest roller system I've ever used in a caravan before the cleanest roller system. it's just clean to pull out you know what I'm saying <laughs> be quiet to the back please and then we pull this forward and turn it upside down these cushions are heavy by the way like they've got some weight to them turn them all over cool. and that forms the basis of the bed and now we need to get the bottom sheet duvet pillows etc bottom sheet all done duvet almost ready to go the only thing we need now is pillows, which are stored underneath the head of Isla and Jason's bed. So now we need to go over this side and start making up that one. Okay, this is the part where you kind of have to play a bit of Tetris with all the cushions. Just from about, wherever you want. Back onto Isabel and Esme's bed. Okay, as you can see, underneath both sides of these beds is monstrously big for storage. We've got a huge King Duvet under here, which is what Jason and Isla use. And under the other side, we've got another huge compartment where we saw all of the pillows right here. Okay, so the most ingenious part of this whole bed system operation is the table. It doesn't move anywhere, you don't have to take it out and move it around like you do in most caravans. You just click a lever underneath and push it down. All the way down. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's stiff because it's new, but... You push it all the way down, just like that. 
and that becomes the base of Isla and Jace's bed. Turn all the cushions over and upside down like before. And then you get a little mattress basically like this. Bottom sheet. And voila, we've got one bed, Jason and Isla style over here. And two beds, Isabel and Esme style over here. Very, very nice and I'll show you them when they all get in in a minute and they'll get tucked up how nice and cozy it is in here. It's so, so nice and gorgeous. They've all got tons of room. This bed is absolutely huge and that bed is just insane. Like, it's just stupid. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. Perfect for us all. And we're all settled, ready for bed. We've all just been watching TV and chilling out for the evening and me and Sarah have just watched episode two of Stranger Things. The girls will, the girls will be slightly probably pleased to hear that we're actually uh, enjoying it. Yay, Didn't think I would do, but it's cool. You're finally being cool today. You're just so Um. Um. Mike definitely. Oh, it's just Mike's a G. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, that's it from us today. Thank you so much for watching. We are heading out of here tomorrow and heading back home. Back to reality. We've got a massively busy week ahead and so much going on. But also some really cool travels coming up too very very soon so stay tuned so thank you so much for watching this video give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this caravan weekend and we'll see you soon good night guys mm -hmm.